Now it is my honor and pleasure to invite Her Excellency, Ms. Maria Fernandez Pinoza Garcés, President of the 73rd Session of the United Nations General Assembly, to give her remarks. Señora Presidente. Madam President, thank you very much and good morning. Uh, Secretary General, colleagues, uh, the panel, their ministers of, and uh, heads of states and authorities that are here with us today. Excellencies, it's an honor to participate in the opening of this global expo to celebrate the results of solidarity and fraternal relationships between countries that share similar challenges. This is even more important because we are celebrating the 10th anniversary of this expo, and also we are at the doors of the second high-level conference of the United Nations on South-South Cooperation that will be uh, held in Argentina next March. This is a key moment to reflect on the path that we've taken during the last 40 years of the action plan of Buenos Aires and to identify the challenges that we still must meet. Excellencies, dear friends, first of all, let me point out that we are at an optimal moment of South-South relationships that are shown by the economic development of southern countries in the last few years. Exports, South-South, exports have grown at an annual rate of 13% between 1995 and 2016. They exceeded world exports by 8%. The value of South-South uh, trade increased almost seven times. It went from $0.6 million dollars billion dollars, excuse me, in 1995 to $4 billion in 2016. Good relationships in the South can also be seen in cooperation. In between 2015 and 17, the proportion of uh, the countries in the Global South that provide cooperation for development increased from 63 to 74%. The awakening of these countries of the Global South have contributed to emerging economies and are modifying the economic and trade patterns at, in, at a world scale. This would have not been possible without the clear advances that we've seen internally in these countries. This responds to the implementation of innovative policies in critical areas for development, to fight poverty, uh, health services, and quality education. We still see great challenges, but this Global Expo allows us to showcase the creativity of the people of the South in order to initiate these policies and implement them. We also must increase and dip deepen South-South cooperations framed in the new development paradigms. From the time we approved the action plan in Buenos Aires, the world has experienced deep changes at, at uh, leapfrog steps. We are part of a multipolar and interdependent world today. International cooperation must also reflect this reality and respond to the 2030 development agenda as the Secretary General just pointed out. In, this, in the next conference in Buenos Aires will be key to renew the basis of international cooperations, reaffirming that South-South cooperation complements rather than substitute traditional cooperation. Under this premise, the countries of the South are part, others' partners, and the United Nations system must work together to in, enrich exchange of experiences and good practices, increase cooperation areas, and find solutions that are creative to the uh, obstacles and persistent challenges ahead. This way, we could open up the doors of a more inclusive cooperation that could substantially contribute to sustainable social uh, development. Thirdly, South-South cooperation strengthens multilateralism and regional integrations and facilitates a space for the exchange solidarity that could help bring countries of the South closer and to strengthen their relationships. The horizontal char character of South-South cooperation feeds the uh, need to cooperate among each other 
convinced that joint efforts could facilitate more efficient and sustainable uh, solutions. After all, regional integration and multilateralism are the only way to overcome the regional and global challenges as such as eradication of poverty, hunger, decent work, empowering of women and girls, the uh, protection of the environment, uh, promoting health and education, among many others. Knowing that South-South cooperation is a model for world uh, alliances to reach the uh, sustainable development goals, so multilateralism is doubly strengthened. Excellencies, to conclude, allow me to tell you that as a citizen of the Global South, I feel very, very proud of what South-South cooperation represents. It is an alternative view as to how to move forward towards development, helping others, cooperating with others, with 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 for mutual benefit and complementarity. We know that each one of us can, can contribute, and beyond resources, the political will is essential to make a difference. This is why I am certain of the immense potential that South-South cooperation offers. The key is to take advantage of this now. I trust this event will renew interest in this new way of cooperating and to increase and deepen exchanges among uh, countries of the South and to encourage developed countries and other actors to contribute their experiences and to the uh, uh, successful experiences of the global South. My best wishes for these few next few days and you have my full support. Thank you very much. <laughs>